What's going on guys? Team Art here and welcome back to another episode of this Quantum Break. Thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. All right, here we go. Sophia Emerald Martin Hatch. Act three, part three. Let's get it, boys. So obviously, Serene is in a bad spot now that uh, Emerald isn't there to administer his medicine. And uh, we're in a good spot because she's going to be able to get her time machine hopefully working. We'll see what happens, but uh, that's our whole plan. Go check out this laptop. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Look at Sophia's laptop. All right. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Wow, all right. So we can either trust Hatch or Sophia. Let's um, let's see what uh, trusting Sophia will do. Immediately, so I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. So that's one option. Serene chooses to trust Sophia and suspects Hatch is a traitor. Let's see the other side of right, things here. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. don't know how to go about this because obviously we don't like Paul Serene um, I, I don't know how this is going to affect Jack because it looked like they eventually captured Sophia there but how would they capture Sophia if Jack already has her in his control I'm gonna say we're just gonna go with any mini money mo I, I honestly I don't know this isn't as like straightforward as some of the other ones um, I'm trying to think from his perspective. I mean, Hatch has always been very smart. Hatch is a, a 
He, he's a, a badass. You're right. We're gonna go we with that. Stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. Oh no! One of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but we won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. So part of me kind of likes Martin Hatch because he's a savage. And that's why I wanted to keep him around. I didn't want to see him. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. I didn't want to see him taken away. When it all started. She'd been here the whole time. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Alright. Well, you have chosen to have Serene trust Martin Hatch. 60% of my friends, including Gold Glove, felt the same way. 37% of the community chose that direction. So we're, we're going a little bit against the grain here. I'm alright with that though. And now we have... The treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. An epic no cutscene coming up, boys. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? Current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 I was kind of a recap, now this is the new one. Episode three, Deception. This guy is such a good actor. He's just so intense. He plays the role incredibly well. It's like crazy evil supervillain. What did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary. Designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel? So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. 
He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. I can't believe that this guy's still loyal to Monarch Lord, after everything that's happened. Terrifying notion of this planet. The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Sewell. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Sewell's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. I mean, that sort of privilege escalation it can only be done from the inside. Come on, Charlie. You're better than this. <laughs> That's good. I put the island on lockdown. But the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. So, it looks like Martin is going to be two-timing Paul here, but that's exactly what we want. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. It's exactly what we want. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyce Phil could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Let's go. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, 
right. If you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. Get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. <laughs> What'd you do to him? He's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home. And she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. So, was he calling Martin right there, or about to call him? Like, does Martin know that he's now been kind of, like, kidnapped? What is Mr. Martin up to here? Good evening, Dr. Amaral. He's blowing up her lab? We're five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. Killed everybody that was in there too for no reason? Are you serious? How far along is your wife? I guess then you don't have any uh three months. Congratulations. Witnesses? Oh shit. Oh no, he's gonna get away again. He's got to choose who he's going to trust. What the fuck is that? Wow, he chose to trust us. We're under the bay. Yeah. <laughs> this dude. Liam? Water rushing? Is it coming? Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, shit. Shit. 
I feel like we're in the Titanic. Holy cow, dude. You do okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get- Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! oh my god! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you understand? Hey, no, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. One guy? Yeah. Where's she? She's... Chronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Val! Yeah. Oh my god, he's dead? Gibson. I got the bird. Fiona. 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 You gotta listen. Hey. Ah. Oh shit, you killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. It's about you, Charlie. Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Oh my god, dude. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. Not dead. He was just shot. It was his shoulder. I thought it got him through the chest, like in his heart area. Damn, dude. Let's go. That was totally unnecessary, but let's go. Commander Davis. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. Th I'm a dead man! Jack. He wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. Such a crafty mother trucker, dude. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. Oh, 
Dude, Martin is a savage. Oh my gosh. What a smart, smart, smart guy. Completely set up Dr. Amaral. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, let's go. We learn those in UFC. Somebody stop them. Can you imagine being his wife? Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys, Get Emily. Away from me. Emily, away. listen. No. Listen, no. please. Please, please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me. A Fucking year. Emily, if Monarch, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. But Emily, you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It's me. We have to go. We have to go. Wow. What a speech.
Yeah. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Uh-oh. I want him apprehended. Immediately. He just found out that Martin... Wow. 